So now today a video I'm gonna be doing a bit of cooking. And if it's the first time, of course, feel free to join our little community. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos every week, of course. Now, today, a video I'm going to be doing a bit of cooking. You know, I'm not really a cooking channel, but once in a while, I do a bit of cooking. You understand? Some Jamaican, maybe soon I'm going to do some German. We don't know yet. So, you have to stay tuned to see what's going to happen. Now, today, I'm going to make some Jamaican. Rasta pasta, my style. Understand? Because there's many recipes out there for rasta pasta, but I'm gonna do it my way. Now I like it, and of course, I make it a bit of challenge myself because I decided to make it with items only in Germany. So I went to the river and I buy seasoning and yeah, so pretty easy. You understand? You know the rasta color, red, green, and gold, or red, green, yellow. And yes, I am a Rasta, as you can see, so I understand I'm gonna do Rasta pasta my way, so stick around to see, yeah? Boom. Oh guys, I'm also, to, to make this video not so long and drawn out and boring, I've already chopped all the vegetables and all that stuff, so I'm gonna just show you what I have and what I'm gonna to use today and all these items I get in Reva, Germany. So, yeah, instead of me cutting, I'm just gonna show that and we're gonna get right into it, so. So guys, what we have here today, we have a little bit of butter, we have um, black pepper, we have white pepper, we have some pasta seasoning, we have Maggi, I don't know what, um, we have oil, we have paprika powder, we have our scallion, we have yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers, garlic, honey and salt, heavy cream and um, this is some pimento seeds I'm gonna crush I'm gonna crush it, it gives a bit of flavor and of course we have our coconut milk and some tomatoes now this is for something special so at the end of the video you will see what this is all about yeah and also I'm gonna be um, making some jerk chicken wings to go along with this dish so I'm not going to really elaborate on that because I have a video already about jerk chicken so you guys just stay tuned and you'll see the end product you know what I mean yep. yeah so guys the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to put my pot with water to leave that to boil that's for the pasta that's going to take a few minutes so I'm going to let that go ahead I'm gonna um, leave my pot here with some oil to get heated so I could start preparing the shrimp in the time being. Again, not too much, just the right amount to get the shrimp a bit crispy. A few moments later. So guys, I'm gonna add a few pieces of garlic. You know, that's how the rasta do it in general. You know? Shrimp. Yes guys, and also we're gonna keep we're gonna check on them, we're gonna turn them because we don't want them to be burned. a bit more so we're not in any rush yeah anyway guys this, this is extra nothing else to do with today's video but this is gonna be served on the side I'm gonna put the jerk I'm gonna put the the wings 
on the good right one and leave them to be That's gonna go on the side. Yeah, so now we're giving them a little turn and then after we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients to get that sauce going. So then we you guys know our water is boiling, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and then we're gonna add our pasta. Adding a bit more ingredients and we're gonna get that sauce and the shrimp going. This guy so now I'm gonna I'm gonna add some some onions followed by some coconut milk So guys, we've already added garlic, the shrimp is partially cooked and a can of coconut milk. I'm going to leave that to cook a bit, get the sauce down a bit and then we're going to add a bit of heavy cream and the rest of our seasoning. A few moments later. So okay guys, so the sauce is down a bit. We don't want that to be completely cooked because you want a little bit of sauce in the food. So. Um, I'm gonna add now some, some bell peppers. Yeah. But before I add the seasoning, I'm gonna add some bell peppers and let them get a bit soft. Okay, guys, so this is just where I want it to be now. Yeah. Sweet peppers not too soft, just right. Yeah, the sauce is not too low and all that stuff. So now, I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredient and just leave that to cook properly. So now I'm gonna add in my skillion, you know. We already have the red, the gold now that's the green. Yeah. We need to get it more rasta-like. Alright, so so far looking good now. We're gonna add some butter. But before we do that, we're gonna crush a bit of pimento seed and add to that. I don't think you need more than that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in. So now, I'm gonna add a bit of butter. Add the seasoning, some white pepper, followed by a little bit of black pepper. That's just to add a little bit of spice to it. And of course, a little bit of salt. You want to add too much salt because you don't want to make that. I mean, and eat a bit. The goal is to make it lekker, you know? Taste it. Yeah, and now I'm going to add some heavy cream to this mixture. So, so far looking good, smelling good. And yeah. I'm 100% sure it will be tasting good also. So guys, now I leave it for like a minute or two. Now I'm gonna add some heavy cream. Yeah. You know, we're gonna add the pasta inside. We're, we're gonna mix all of this together. So we want a lot of 
sauce. You don't want it to be dry and and the Germans is all about the sauce so you have to make sure you have enough sauce. Now I'm gonna put a bit of salt in the water and I'm gonna leave this to soak. Last thing I'm gonna add some of this sauce. Not too much. Just to give it a bit of flavor. Sauce. Just perfect and now we are gonna add, add our pasta inside. Okay. And we are gonna mix that all together. Okay, so that's completely mixed. Now it's time to serve. So yes guys, that was my little recipe of making the rasta pasta my way. Feel free to leave it in the comment and let me know if you're gonna try this recipe or not. I don't know, you guys be the judge. So anyway guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys like, share, comment and subscribe and click that little notification bell so you'll be notified, yeah? And of course, it helps me to continue doing what I'm doing. You understand? Boom.